What do you need to buy from Hermes to be offered a quota bag? My name is Tanya. I am a lover of Hermes, a handbag collector and an investor in timeless fashion. Please subscribe to my channel for more Hermes tips and my Hermes experiences. In this video, we'll go over what exactly do you need to buy from Hermes to be offered a quota bag. The dollar amounts, the departments, the specific items, we will get into that. And I will also share some math behind some of my quota bag offerings first from the Hermes store. Now, but before we dig in, I wanted to share my latest Birkin bait or pre-spend purchase from Hermes, however you want to call it. And I just got these. These are the new collection Orans. I already did unpacking on my Instagram. Feel free to follow me there if you are impatient like me. I love this color in these Oran sandals and this material, the suede material, is very comfortable for the Oran sandals. They are perhaps my most favorite shoe from Hermes. Oh, this is like a fan. I live in Miami and I wear this quite a bit. I have Oran sandals in many different colors. I do have a tip about Oran sandals. Get them either with suede or with swift leather. The only leather that you want to avoid when shopping for these Oran sandals is the Epsom leather. While Epsom is amazing for handbags, aka Cellier Kellys, like this one right here, like that one, the black Kelly right there is also Epsom leather. It's very durable, it's very stiff, but it's going to be so brutal for your feet. So if you don't want to murder your feet and you value your feet, and you value comfort, get either Swift leather or this like suede material. It's much softer and it's going to reduce the friction of the sandal and your feet. I feel like the only times that I hear that Oran sandals are uncomfortable, people cannot wear them, I always ask them, what leather did you buy? And they're like, well, I don't know. And I'm like, okay, let me see. And most always it's the Swift, uh, sorry, the Epsom leather. It's again, because it's so stiff and so durable, excellent for handbags one of my favorite leathers for Kelly's not the best fit for your feet but anyways you get it so this is my latest purchase of Birkin bait I love the colors it's from the new season I ordered these through uh, mail because I was too lazy to go to see my sales associate well lazy because I'm always working as you know, I have a full-time job. I also make content full-time. I am very active on Instagram, Instagram stories, TikTok, on YouTube. So it feels like I'm always working. Today's Saturday and I am recording a video for you guys instead of having dinner somewhere nice and taking my handbags out. I am actually here talking about my handbags, but that is a topic for another conversation. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your likes. I appreciate your input. I always listen to you. I just wanted to say how thankful I am to this community and even though I'm always working on creating content for you it doesn't feel like work because it feels very two-sided and again for that I'm very grateful now because I ordered online this is my receipt it was in the box sorry Correction, I did not order online and I definitely do not recommend you order online from Hermes website if your end goal is a quota bag because your online purchases don't count towards your pre-spend with a sales associate because online the internet cannot give you a Birkin bag but a sales associate can. Even if you are too lazy to go to the store like myself, just text your sales associate with whatever you want. I actually did not text with these little cuties. I just texted my sales associate like, hey, I want to come, but I'm so swamped. And she was like, okay, well, we got these things and I really love the colors. I think that the color is so fun, especially again for Miami. I love wearing like floral bright dresses and these are really good on the feet. So I got the receipt and mail and I just like, she sent me a link and I paid online. And she also this included this really cool book. And this is how I know my sales associate likes me because she just like, she sent me this book that she didn't have to. And I mean, it seems like a nice book. It's actually about Hermes furniture, which is so expensive. It also has their, uh, their homeware catalog. We're going to get into that in a little bit. This is their newest collection or one of the newest collections. So 
Let's get into how much you need to spend in order to be offered a quarterback. That is going to depend on so many things. First, it's going to depend on your country. If you are located in the US, this video is for you because I'm mainly going to be talking about American spend, not European spend, not a spend in Asia and also not spend in the Middle East. In terms of ranking of the countries, in terms of how much money you need to spend in order to be offered an Hermes bag in the Middle least it's going to be the highest spend then it's going to be in Asia and by Asia I'm talking about Korea, Japan, China, Hong Kong those are going to be in Taiwan probably as well those are going to be the countries with the most spend some other Asian countries also require a big spend then it's sort of the US we're somewhere in the middle and if you want to be offered a bag in Europe it's probably the least amount of spend European countries usually tend to have less pre-spend when we're comparing to the US and also if we are talking about the US the pre-spend is going to differ based on where you are I have heard that if you are in the flagship on medicine or if you're in Beverly Hills the pre-spend is going to be higher as well as if you're in Dallas those are sort of like the bigger Hermes boutiques with more established customers and the relationships that sort of go back years so the pre-spend is going to be higher as well as Miami uh, it's one of the stores that requires a bit more pre-spend but usually the ratio is 1 to 1.5 or 1 to 2 the price of a quarter bag so if a quarter bag is $12,000 typically you will need to spend between 12 and $17,000 to be offered a quarter bag in some stores you will need to spend $20,000 and up to be offered a quarterback. All of these are estimates and guesses based on my personal experience and experience of all of you um, who told me and who shared with me where you're buying your bags and how much was the pre-spend. So all of this is my best guess and estimate please don't hold me accountable you know if there are some differences or discrepancies it's in our messers no perfect formula it's always going to have slight variations the human factor will also determine how fast you will get a quarter bag and by human factor i mean your relationship with your sales associate that's why i always say make sure that you and your sales associate click it's like any relationship like a romantic relationship like a friend just make sure that you speak the same language and I don't mean English or German or you know Mandarin I mean that you understand each other and you click that this, your sales associate likes you that's very important because the human factor can affect greatly if you get a, a quarterback offer or not. If your sales associate doesn't like you, your chances are not as high as if they like you. And if they like you, then you might need to spend less money to get a quarterback offer. I found that the best is spending around $1,000 a month at RMS, always showing your face at your store. Now, if you live in a place where you don't have an RMS store and just pick a place where you travel often, you go in person and you make the initial contact in person and then you can buy by text exactly how I bought these sandals and then just occasionally show your face. I have heard of people having these relationships with success, so it works. Now, in terms of departments, in order to be successful, you should, but you don't have to by any means buy from different departments. I think that after many years of having a relationship with Hermes, meaning I buy Hermes things and occasionally they reward me with quarter bags, I'm kind of running out of things to buy. So yes, you do turn to different departments. Like if at first you buy Hermes shoes, Hermes ready to wear, Hermes outwear, whatever, then you kind of run out of things to buy so you turn into the home department as you can see I have a lot of home department things as well as Hermes jewelry now I personally have never bought Hermes jewelry not the costume jewelry not the fine jewelry because it's not my cup of tea I am thinking of making my first jewelry purchase but I'm a firm believer into buying something that you like so even if I am having this is probably my 15th pair of Hermes shoes I have 
stuff, Hermes home stuff, ready to wear, you name it. I still only buy things that I like. I still buy things that I use. I still buy things that I need for the house, for me, whatever. It has to serve a purpose in order for me to buy something, which it should, right? You're buying something, it should serve another purpose more than just like spending your money, hoping to get a bag. So that's why I say buy only what you like. They have beautiful, great quality things. Just find something that you like. Of course, if you buy a lot of homeware, a lot of, you know, um, fine china sets, a lot of fine jewelry, especially diamond jewelry, but keep it a secret. I think, or I have heard, heard that it increases your quarterback chances quite significantly but again i have been very successful without buying the expensive jewelry i just buy things that i like and it's for me it's not so much about not buying like not affording the jewelry i do you know i buy cartier i buy a body cleave i buy nice jewelry i just personally don't love hermes jewelry as much i definitely don't like costume jewelry i had hermes costume jewelry when i was a teenager so for me like the costume jewelry has this like teenage vibe i'm not in that stage of my life anymore i am thinking i'm going to make one fine jewelry purchase i have been thinking about it i have been eyeing it it does not have diamonds but it is solid gold so i'm going to update you on the progress if it helps my case or not now what i have gathered from my followers it's sort of the combination of all of these things usually yields the best results of a quarter Bag. So finding a sales associate that you like, putting in FaceTime, going and spending money at our mess, buying things that you like, buying things that you like from different departments and just having a great relationship, being a lover of the brand, appreciating, you know, fine quality, deep, saturated colors that our mess makes. All of those things are going to be an investment into your long-term relationship with a brand because I don't teach you like, oh, get a quarterback fast. If you want a Birkin or a Kelly bag fast and you're not interested in playing the game, you're not a lover of the brand, you just want the status that the Birkin or a Kelly brings, I would say go to the resellers. Just you know buy what you want buy the color that you want buy the size that you want go to the resellers yeah it's going to be double or triple the money but you know maybe it's worth it for you at this stage i personally love the brand and i love having a long-term fruitful relationship and i am ready to make investments so these are the tips that I teach you on my YouTube channel. If you want more of these things, if you want more of these tips, if you want to learn more about my experiences, please subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I usually have discussions. I always share what my followers get in terms of quota bags. If they choose to share it with me, I always, of course, ask them for permission if they would be okay, you know, to maintain confidentiality. And I always, you know, I never share with a name, but you know, it's a very fun community that I have built. And I'm so grateful again for your support because I am working very hard in my full-time job, but also as a content creator. So your support is always greatly appreciated and more Hermes content coming soon.